because that's a lot of little tiny people with need help changing their clothes. We've got about 163 little people in the first show, and if we have to change 163 kids, it'll be bad. Um, older kids can change themselves. Older kids should know that dressing rooms for recital are not individual. <laughs> we don't all have a little stall to go in. Um, they are classrooms at West Springfield High School, and it'll be full of 35 kids. So if your child is exceptionally shy about, about changing in front of other people, you can do one of two things. You can either um, bring a giant sheet and go in the room with her, which is what we do a lot at competitions, and just hold it in front of them so they can change, and that's fine. Um, or you can invest in a nude camisole leotard they sell them at Discount Dance. They also sell them at Heather's Dancewear, as well as um, Leo's Dancewear in Fairfax. And it's just a leotard that's skin colored. And they're usually about $12. And they're allowed to wear that under all of their costumes. And then they can strip down and not be naked and they're not as embarrassed. So you know your child if they're not a little uncomfortable. I will tell you that. If your child comes and plans that they're just going to go to the bathroom and change their costume, it won't happen because there's only a couple sets of bathrooms. There are 200 people in the show, you know, in addition to the 500 in the audience trying to go to the bathroom, and it won't happen. Plus, I can not always vouch that after the first show is run, the bathrooms are spotlessly clean by the second and third show. And I personally wouldn't want to be in there naked with bare feet trying to change my clothes on this floor. So, I'm just saying. Yeah, they're nasty, right? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I may have walked in after, but what sure. time should the kids be there for the dress rehearsal? Um, for the dress rehearsal, the times are posted out here on the, on oh, the wall. So it depends and, on your child. Yeah, it depends on your child. So you'll want to you'll check the time because the show times are a little bit different. Um, so far as costuming goes, for everybody, you do not want to wear underpants with your tights. Uh, now, a lot of times the little people will freak out over that when you tell them they don't have to wear their underpants with their tights. If they completely melt down over it, leave the underpants on and just send them when the poo hanging out the back. It's fine. Um, <laughs> what I always tell them is that big girls, big ballerinas, don't wear underpants with their tights. They just don't. Big ballerinas don't. And usually, if you get them and let them know that ahead of time, you don't spring them on it as you're putting their tights on. Like, no, we're putting them on with their tights. Usually if you kind of prep them a week or two before, I, I have had very few meltdowns over the underwear situation. I have seen a lot of kids freak out over it if they're not pre-worn and parents go to try to take their undies off and put their tights on. Little girls are like, I don't think so. That's not going to work for me. Um, so you might just want to prep ahead of time. So far as our little people go, I need for this to be fun for them. You want it to be fun for them. This is their first experience. I am way more concerned with them being happy and dancing well and having a great experience than I am about their underwear showing or their headpiece not staying on or their hair not being in a perfect fun. So my rule with the little people is if it upsets them and makes them cry, stop. Whatever it is, just stop. If that means they are going on stage with no makeup, they go on stage with no makeup. If it means they go on stage without their hair being done, then oh well. <laughs> none of us are gonna none of us are gonna die over that. We just want them to be happy. So I have a question. So we sure. come and we bring them in tights, mm -hmm. let's say, and we bring their whatever with bring them. Bring their costume with them with and them. put it on them when you get them in the dressing room. Okay, so then do they need a bag to put their other clothes? I would bring it. I bring their little dance bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes to the auditorium you want labeled with your child's name, everything. First and last name. We have 300 little girls named Katie running around. So don't just put Katie because I'm not going to know who that belongs to. Everything. Put their name. If they bring other clothes with them, put their name in the label. Make sure their shoes have their name in it. Make sure their tutu on the waistband on the inside has their name on it. Because things do get left and they get all mixed together and everybody's about the same size. and. It's really hard to find. So I would bring their little bag with them. If they're in the other two, the second two shows, bring their little dance bag, put their name on the bag. It can just be a little duffel bag. It can be a grocery bag, a Trader Joe's bag with their name right on it. It's fine. Um, but make sure it's labeled with their name. If your child is in the loudest roar and has 
additional costume pieces like the flamingos have that feather skirt and whatnot they have to change into. When you check your child in, there will be baskets with your child's name on them in the dressing room and you'll just give your stuff to the helper and they'll put it in your child's basket with their name on it. We keep really tight strings on how those are run so we know what everything is. Um, but the older kids should definitely have their own. So no underpants with, their, with any costumes at all. No visible bra straps whatsoever in the recital for anybody's costume. So, if you have a costume, older girls, and your bra shows, you either need to get a strapless bra, you need to go without a bra if you can, um, or you need to make sure that you get that costume pinned to your bra strap so that nothing shows. No bra straps, no bra backs can show. Um, in addition to that, you don't want nail polish at all. Um, or any jewelry whatsoever. Anything that makes the child look different than everybody else in the class, you don't want. That's the point, that's why we wear a costume on stage, so that we have uniformity and we all look alike. So if you've got one little girl with a big pink hair bow in her hair and nobody else has one, everybody's gonna go, whoop, whoop, to a little pink hair bow every couple of seconds. And that's not what we're looking for. So, um, no nail polish, no jewelry, no underpants. Those are the big ones for so. I know that for pictures as well, please. For pictures as well, absolutely. Dawn is our photographer, by the way. This is Dawn Biggs, and she'll be doing your, your child's pictures starting next week. We start with class pictures. So, same thing. When we do class pictures, you want your child to look exactly like they're going to look when they go on the stage, with the exception of makeup. I do, we don't make our, our little girls up for pictures. They do not need to wear makeup. They can wear a little lip gloss if you want. If they're looking particularly pale, maybe you can pinch their cheeks, put a little lipstick on the cheeks and fine. But no, um, no stage makeup for pictures. I like them to look like little girls in their pictures. I don't want them to look like ballerinas. <laughs> so um, you want to make sure that you don't do that for, for pictures. Otherwise, exactly like you're going to be for the recital. So if your hair is supposed to be in a bun for the recital, it needs to be in a bun for pictures as well. So we'll be notified when pictures will be for the class? Yes, Rockley's got the schedule going on right now. We're putting that together, but tell them in general, most of the pictures are, are, are going to be the week, at the, not this, right, not not next this week, coming week, not but this the coming week, but the following week Saturday. in their actual class times. So we're not doing a separate picture day for so most of the classes. You should have them by now, and if not, we reschedule your date. Do you take on Thursday or Saturday? Monday. You take on Monday. So Wait, you're either, we, we have a class on Your class is on Monday. Yes, Monday. Okay. So you're with Miss Kelsey right now. Your costumes, are, your costumes are, are due this week. Oh, okay. Um, we got the shipping notice on it. So as long as it's a full shipment, we should have them this week and in your pictures. Okay. So if for some reason some of you have not gotten your costumes yet, there are costumes that aren't in yet. Um, if you haven't gotten your costumes yet, we have two shipments due this week. Two big companies um, are due any time now. We've already gotten the UPS notice on them. So um, you should get them in class this week. If for some reason they don't, we'll just delay your pictures. That's the great thing about having Dawn in-house is that she's kind of got a flexible schedule and has been really good with going. All right, I guess I'm coming up another day to do a class picture. Um, so that's worked out okay for us. Uh, so you've got be on the lookout for that. Should be coming hopefully this week. No. Um, with her being on Monday, it's iffy if we're going Monday or not. We're hoping. I just don't want to be yeah, prepared. No. That's all. If not, we'll push it. If, not, we'll, if, if we don't get it by in time to hand it out Monday, we'll push your pictures back a week. So we're sure we get it. Um, I'm.